Welcome to another one of our Bars, Cigars, and Brew.com how-to videos. Today we're going to work on a fiberglass three-foot pirate statue. Okay, we're going to be using, this is Bondo body filler. It's basically used for cars, but you can also use it for statues. After we use the Bondo, we'll probably be filling in with some wood filler. Okay, we'll be putting a little bit of hardener onto the Bondo. Also, I like to use a masonite board. These masonite boards are nice and smooth and really easy for mixing up your hardener. This hardens very rapidly. Once you get it to a pink point, it'll probably harden in about a minute and a half to two minutes. And I will stick a, a bunch of gunky Bondo right inside here. In general, you usually don't need Bondo. You can usually have wood filler, but this is a big project because it's a broken foot. So it really needs a, quite a bit more support. And then once I get all this put together like this, this is just the first start. I'm going to tape that in position and it'll probably harden in just two or three minutes. Okay, in this case, when this was returned to us, unfortunately there was all kinds of parts missing. There were pe the whole outside edge and all the form. This is probably be the hardest project that I work on. So I'm going to fill it in with a little bit of newspaper. And then once this all dries and hardens, I can put more putty on the outside and kind of make it harden on the outside of that. Okay, I'm putting more resined putty on here, just kind of slowly filling it in. You don't, you can't just fill it in in one shot. You have to kind of just keep building it up. It's been about five minutes now, and it looks like our auto body putty has hardened quite a bit. So we'll take the tape off. Now, what we're gonna do is let this harden up completely for another four or five minutes, and then I'm gonna fill it all in as much as I can, just a bit taller than the shoe originally was, and then we'll take and file it down and create the original shoe shape. Now that it's mostly dry, I've given it about five or 10 minutes it's hard, um, but it still has a little bit of softness to it, which makes it easier to kind of file down. If you wait two or three days, it gets really hard, and then it's a little bit harder to file down. When I'm done with that, then I'll start using wood filler, because wood filler on top of this is much easier to do the sanding and the final finish. Now I'll be doing some spray painting. I w I'm not really finished yet, but I like to put a coat of spray paint on like a nice dark black or any color because you can always go over it. And then this way I can really get a sense of what I need to fill in. As you can see after spray painting, it makes it a little bit easier to see where your indents are where you need to put a little bit of wood filler and then sand it nice and smooth. Now I'm applying the wood filler. I take wood filler and I move it around a little, makes it easier to manipulate. And then just spread it on with my fingers making nice fill-in spots and also smoothing it out so I don't have to spend a lot of time sanding. Putting a little more spray paint on to see my low and high spots. Here at BarsCigarsAndBrew.com we've decided to put together a kit to help folks repair these fiberglass statues. The kit includes a satin lacquer spray cans, there's a uh, wood filler, there's sandpaper, there's a bit of instructions inside, and a whole bunch of different tubes of colored paint. And we'll show you how some of this stuff works. Okay, taking some of these simple latex paints, trying to get a color that's pretty close. Don't worry, you can always do it over if it doesn't match. Our final process will be spraying on a satin lacquer finish. This makes the item look like, even if it's a bit rough, it makes it look like this is how it was weighed because there's a finish on it. And it finishes off your whole project really nice and even. Well, that does it for fixing up our fiberglass statues. If this has been helpful to you, please stop by Bars, Cigars, and Brew dot com. You can have fun and be artistic. I feel like Bob Ross.
Remember him? I'm gonna cut that out. Okay. I'm gonna cut all this out. Stop! It's Bob Ross. He used to go, light, fluffy clouds. He you know, he's still taping. He was the lamest painter there ever was. But you know what? <laughs> he got on TV and I didn't. So, you know, who's the lamer painter? Bob Ross or me? <laughs> okay, that does it. <laughs> okay, sorry. That does it. Well, let me stop. Let me give you some time so you can cut it. No, no, no. Let's just let it run. Just, right. You can always cut it. Well, that does it for our project for restoring and fixing up cracks and dents for... Well, that does it for restoring. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it! I'll look away. Stop it. Well, that does it for restoring your fiberglass statues, either three foot, two foot, six foot, whatever it is. A little bit of resin, a little putty paint, and a nice satin lacquer finish on the top, and you're ready to go. So if you need anything, any of these parts or any of these different things, call, I don't need, you don't even cut all that out. But uh, again, you need to focus in on it. Yeah, all right. Let's we hope this has been helpful to you. If it has, please stop by Bars, Cigars, and Brew.com. We, we, what? Do, oh, you were pulling away. Okay. I was I pulling know. away. You didn't tell me.